and enjoy That's why yourself. it is called a break. Right. It's not called an extended planning period, teachers. Exactly. So this break is not for your extended planning enjoyment. Truly, 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 I think during this season that we all just need to step away from it. And I think that we're going to go back again with more energy and more enthusiasm and more joy. And that right there can be it can be and do more for your classroom yep. than a killer lesson. Um, yep. So 100%. Good. anyways, that I knew that was going to be a, a deep dive. And I'm glad that you kind of asked me some questions about it so that we could, I could talk about my perspective and you could talk about yours. Mm-hmm. But how how can you? How can you, what do you need to do and what do you need to let go of in order to be able to have a guilt-free break and not beat yourself up in two weeks and not beat yourself up on the day that you go back to school because you weren't, you aren't good enough or you aren't, who are you measuring yourself against? Who are you, what are you determining as the measurement for what makes you ready to go back after break, mm. right? So just consider that. Um So another way that um, you can feel great going back after break, now that you're going to have a guilt-free break and you're going to truly choose to let go of it and to to enjoy yourself, um, one thing that has been big for us feeling or going back after break, and I've actually had different types of breaks. I've had breaks where um, pre-kids, where I would just lay on the couch and watch movies the entire time and literally not get up. Yeah, she wouldn't. Been there. Okay. It was weird. And I ain't saying there's anything wrong with that, but... I honestly did not feel motivated after those breaks. I felt like I was trying to pull myself out of this like depression. Almost. No. I mean, it's not quite there, but no, almost. But I know because I, I was there. I was like, Ooh. it's like when you take a what really you, long what you nap. Been doing? During the day and you're not used to napping and you wake up after two hours and it's like you're miserable for the next six. It's because you've been hibernating. Yeah. And so (laughs) I've had those breaks where I've gone into hibernation and then it took me forever to pull myself out of that. And it was so miserable. Mm -hmm. And so one of the things that Wade and I have found that has really been motivating for us um, to feel great going back after our break is to either continue habits that we've already established Mm -hmm. or to reestablish habits because it's much easier to establish habits in the off time than it is when the hustle and bustle is back. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't be able to maintain those. You should create sustainable habits. That's something that you're going to be able to continue on with. But I know for us, exercising every single Mm -hmm. day, reestablishing, you know, really getting back into exercise. I feel like over break, if I do it every single day, then when we get back into the swing of things, it's evil. It's evil. It's evil. It's not evil. It's easier for me to be able to maintain that. And so, you know, what habits have you let slide the past few weeks or the past few months, whether it be, you know, also my daily devotionals, right? Getting back into a habit, getting refocused. And I'm not just talking about because it's a new year and, you know, I'm not big on just doing things because it's a new year because I feel like those are always things that stick around for a short time. Yeah. But um, what are some habits that you can reestablish during during this time that you're going to be like, you're going to feel proud. Like, I did that. I I exercised every day or I did my devotional or I meditated or whatever it is that will be something that, you know, when you start making progress towards something, you start feeling motivated in other areas of your life. You feel good about yourself. Yeah. And, I mean, that's the perfect time. Like, breaks are for you to... Focus on yourself, focus on your family, obviously, and the people you care about. But, yeah, I mean, it's just just a a reboot. It's a reboot to the habits that you've established for yourself that make you feel good and can make you uh, a productive individual. 